So guys, what's good? What's good? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope everything's good wherever you guys are. So guys, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video, guys. I want to get straight into this video. Uh, guys, Virgil Ortiz, shockingly, has fainted again, trying to make 147 pounds. Now, this is a uh, very, very dangerous as far as I'm concerned. Uh, obviously, he's pulled out of his fight. I believe he was fighting Stanionis, uh, who's a very good young fighter himself. And this, for me, is a fighter either being ill-advised and I, uh, either a fighter being very stubborn. But clearly, he's outgrown the weight. Clearly, Virgil Ortiz has outgrown the weight. And it's time for Virgil Ortiz to move up. It's time to him uh, move up and stop... Um, damaging his health this is very very dangerous you know trying to trying to i don't know why he's look, maybe looking for an advantage trying to, to uh, you know cram himself down to a certain weight but this is no good this is no good i mean he's fainted again you know this is it can have serious consequences on your health not just that if he hadn't fainted and he, ma and he went into the ring there could be serious consequences in the ring can you imagine he's that weak that he fainted right can you imagine if he hadn't fainted and he actually had gone into the ring and then something when he got hit with a punch and he fainted then? Can you imagine how serious that could be? This is very, very dangerous and he needs to move up to 154. Now, I don't even know if Virgil Ortiz is going to be the same fighter, but at the end of the day, I don't know. Maybe he's looking for the big fights and he views. Maybe he thinks the big money fights are at 147. Listen, no money is more than your health. If your body is not allowing you to be able to get down to 147 and you're making and it's so difficult for you to get down, clearly you need to listen to your body. When your body is hurting or your body is telling you something, you need to listen to your body, right? If your body is telling you to if your body is telling you to to move up, right? And you, you're struggling to make a certain weight, you need to listen to your body. If your body is telling you to stop doing something because it's hurting you need to listen to your body you know by not listening to your body right it's very very dangerous right because you're putting your body under the necessary stress your body is telling you that it can't do it your, his body is clearly telling him that he cannot make 147 anymore and, he, and whoever it is whether he's got people around him or stubbornness or himself whatever he's being stubborn and it's resulting him in in having these uh these effects at the weigh-ins and stuff look he needs to move up. He needs to move up. You know, Bernard Hopkins has just said it that he needs to move up. This is not very this is not good for a fighter's health. He's young. Uh he's got a long career ahead of him and he and he can't afford to be taking long gaps. I mean, I can't even remember the last time Virgil Virgil or for um Mickinson. You know. Uh Virgil Ortiz is very inactive. You know, and these that's the second time now that he's had to pull out because he's he's had trouble making weight. You know, that's not good. So clearly, clearly needs to move up at 154. So what? Okay, there's bigger fights at 147. Who cares? At the end of the day, if your body can't make it, it can't make it. Just move up. Just move up and, and, and try to look to uh, do damage at 154. Look, if look one of Crawford and Spence, if, Crawford, if Spence wins, he's going to move up to 154 anyway. You know, Spence ain't going to... If he wins against uh, uh, Victor... Um, uh, Crawford, he's not going to stay. And maybe Crawford is going to move up anyway. Because what's there going to be for Crawford? Crawford might stay at 147 and look to clean up if he loses to Spence. But if Crawford beats Spence, and if Spence loses, their next move is going to be to move up. If Crawford wins, he's going to move up to 154. If Spence... If Crawford wins, he's going to move up. If Spence loses, wins or loses, he's going to move up to 154. So... To be fair, I don't know why Virgil Ortiz is is so adamant and staying at 147. Go to 154. You know, you're going to be comfortable there. You're going to find it more easier to fight there. You're going to find it much, much less taxing on your body. You know, you're not going to be fainting at, at weigh-ins. You know, it's, it's important to take care of your health. You know, it's imperative to take care of your health, man. I don't think these guys realize that, you know, they're damaging their health and they're shortening their boxing career by doing this as well. You know, because your body, by putting it under so immense stress, right, like that, you know, your body only has a, a certain shelf life that you can do this. That's why fighters don't, fighters don't, you know, go on for that long. And very few fighters, unless you stay disciplined, 
But even if you put your body under intense pressure like that, trying to make weight, which your body is not comfortable making, right? You can only do that for a prolonged period of time before your body breaks down. There's many issues that can, can come across from you trying to drain your body like that constantly. Because what you're doing is you're basically, by trying to make that weight, you're basically depleting the body of water. You know, and because water makes up a lot of weight. So when you deplete the body of water, right, that's what you're doing in order to try and make weight. It's no good. It's no good. You know, and when you're putting your body, like I said, you're putting your body under immense stress like that constantly. It's no good. And hence why his body is reacting negatively to, to him doing that. And that's why he's not listening to his body. He needs to move up to 154. That'll be more comfortable you know, and like I said, he'll be able to perform much better, you know. So hopefully, Virgil Ortiz, we don't see him at 147 again. He moves up to 154 and we see a much healthier, better version of Victor, Victor, Virgil Ortiz. So, yeah, leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about him, uh, Virgil Ortiz, stubbornly trying to make 147. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.